What's good YouTube? Hope all is well with you. The Valiant Scents coming at you once again with another fragrant mini series, if you will. Shout out to all of my subscribers. Please continue to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Yes, not in the studio. We are outside due to some technical difficulties. Who knew that technical difficulties would push me outside? <laughs> but we're kicking it old school the way I used to do these reviews. Once again, shout out to all of my subscribers. Please continue to like, comment, share, and subscribe as we continue to grow this channel. But this mini series, as you can tell, is for the House of Mason, Francis Kirk John, one of my favorite houses. And this is the very masculine Loam a la Rose. Of course, Loam being French for man. And there you see the sample right inside. There's a picture of the bottle and right here this fresh and textured eau de parfum is francis Kirk, francis kirk john's free interpretation of a rose for men the fragrance's signature duo composed of damask roses from bulgaria and centifolia roses from grass is infused with an impression of grapefruit and i definitely get that and a modern woody accord so that's definitely what you get in this fragrance you get a little bit of grapefruit you get rose and you get a woody accord and it is very much a masculine scent so gentlemen here is the other side of it definitely don't be afraid to go for this one other rose fragrances you have to test them out for sure never buy a full bottle uh blind buying a full bottle of anything i don't care what the price is uh, but then when you sample it like this and you get into it i'm gonna spray it for you Put it back in there for the display so the grapefruit and the rose jump out right at right off the top right off the top the grapefruit and the rose jump off and uh, I am very like I said very much amazed with this because I've always wanted to wear rose but not a lot of rose fragrances are for men they just don't they don't even you can't even say that they're unisex in my opinion they're always going to market them unisex but most of the time they're still way too feminine in my opinion but this one man perfect for outdoors i'm actually at the beach and this is an excellent fragrance to pick up but like i said sample it first try it out first for yourself and when you can afford it, <laughs> definitely go for it. And I would recommend this fragrance. But like I said, the grapefruit and the rose. I noticed that grapefruit is uh, a lot of times in masculine fragrances as one of the masculine fruity or citrus scents. Uh, key mark citrus scents, if you will. Grapefruit more so than a lot of other uh, fruity or citrus notes. Uh, that could go in either uh, perfume for women or fragrances for men but this one like I said this is all for us guys don't worry about a woman saying oh well, she can wear it too and eh, no none of that don't even worry about it it's not gonna smell on as good on her as it is on you okay <laughs> let's just put it that way so this is for us gentlemen loam again French for man a la rose this is a wonderful fragrance this is wonderful to wear like I said still getting the rose and the grapefruit and then i do remember from the first time that i sprayed it um another time ago uh that the woody dry down definitely adds to the masculinity of this fragrance so once again this is from the house of mason francis kirch on loam a la rose eau de parfum again i appreciate all of my subscribers please continue to like comment share and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video